Welcome to part two. Alright, so Beastman is next, right? Now, the thing with my HP being so low is that Sneak Run depends on your maximum HP. So since it's only 120, I'm not really going to be able to block any of the viruses in here. Which means I'm going to have to cut out a lot of virus fights. Hey, jeez. Okay. Well, here he is. Anyway, Beastman is fast for a lot of people. So, you know, the easiest way is to stand in the center panel. Because this way you only have to move once in any given direction if he attacks. Like, look. See, look, he went behind me. All I do is move back or forward. I mean, that's really all you need to do. You just stand in the center panel and then just, just use reflexes. It's much easier than possibly getting trapped and then have to move two squares away because then he'll most likely hit you. It ships with like spice. They can hit him twice if um, you catch him when he's on your area. And then he goes back to his own area just like that. Hit him once one in my area. And then when you went back to his area, spice came around and hit him again. Boomer can also do this. But you know, anti sword and slasher is pretty much god tier for this fight. And dead. Easy V4. Alright, off to a good start. Off to a good start. Lock enemy is always useful. At least in my case, because Sneak Run doesn't do shit. Beast Manly has, you know, 900 HP. He's really not that hard to S rank. You know, you can even start with Beast Man if you really want to, but... Hey. Alright. Uh, about three more virus fights before I got to him again. Not that bad. Anyways, the field is cracked, so I wouldn't even use chips like Godstone or even um, Old Wood, because then you're cutting off your own area, and you're putting yourself in a bad position. And you always want to be as close to the center panel as possible, so you like to make one step instead of two steps. Of course, Grass Stage is always good for just, you know, for my heat style and double damage on the buster, etc, etc. And I just threw in some Burner Chips, just because I'm, just because he's always close to you. Because he's always close to you, Burner will likely hit him. Double hit on Spice. Of course, you gotta be quick with Burners, though. You miss a Burner and, you know, that happens. Really? Oh my god. Fucking Zenny, man. <sighs> That's it, I'm mad. I'm teching. Screw it. Two chips at once! Yes, you can use two chips at once. You didn't know that? Any event. Mines, mines, and mines. Sometimes I just like to tie stop time like that. This way we can we can see him coming a mile away. You don't have to always you don't have to necessarily react to him. You can just stop time in the middle of his attack. Like this. We stop time in the middle of his attack. This way we can always see where he's coming from. And he's dead. And version 4 again. Now it's too quick. So yeah, two chips at once. Uh, if you know how to tech right, you can activate two chips at once, like I did with Boomer or Anti Sword in the last fight. You just um, time it properly. It's kind of hard to explain. If you probably watch it over, you can probably see what I just did. Essentially, I just procced Anti Sword and Boomer at the same time. In most situations, you really want to spread out the use of your chips. You don't want to just burn all in one burst like that. But I mean, he's Beast Man, and I'm Giver, so it doesn't really make a difference what he does. In PvP, yeah, you really want to spread out the use of your chips, more so than just burn all at one use. In any event, I missed, missed the double hit on Spice, but, you know, can't be perfect all the time.
And burners, you have to pretty much be frame perfect to land burners in this fight, so... Yeah, that, that was hilarious. You just stepped on the mine. Anyways, version 3. So use burners, you have to pretty much be frame perfect, or it's very, very fast. So it's basically a suck tier for this fight, but... You know, hey. Wow, you only do 60 damage to me? Yeah, you only do 60 damage. That is really, really bad. Really, really bad. Just bad. I'm sorry, Flashman hits more than that. Capcom, please. Holy shit! Waste that zapping to celebrate. I'm sorry, when you get a frame perfect hit like that, you waste the zapping to disrespect. Y you just don't. You gotta. Re you better rewind that. You, you, you better rewind that. You'll never see a more perfect boomer in your life. You just won't see it. You know, I don't even care if I don't get the chip right now. I, I really don't care. That, that just made my whole day. That just made my day. GG. I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad that I didn't get the V2 chip. Just not really mad. That was completely worth it. Completely worth it. Frame perfect boomer. Disrespect by wasting a zap ring. You just have to do it. I don't care where you come from. When you get something like that done, you disrespect. Oh, wow, he's just dead. Jesus. RNG Jesus smiles upon me. Yeah, you know, you gotta take two hits. You, you know the drill by now. Two hits, get a nine, kill him fast, get a V2. That's the strat. How to not use two chips at once by Giver 56. Wasted 200 damage there. Step on a mine, please. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow, okay. Okay. Version 2 is mine. And we're done. Yeah, Beastman isn't really, you know, hard to do. He only has 900 HP. Anyways, don't, don't know what the next one will be, but I'll decide later. See ya.